What is this guy doing? F you now. Strange okay, fuck it up. Hi everyone, I am in Amman in Jordan. And I know many people are quite nervous about driving in this country. So I thought I would make a video to show you what it is like. Just rented the car. At the end of the video, I'm going to give you some information about how much I paid for it. Not a good start. I need to practice a bit with this liberal understanding and flexible understanding, understanding of road rules in this country. The, place rented the car from is outside the city or better in the suburbs of the city because if I was to drive in downtown where absolutely there seem to be no rules whatsoever it would be quite complicated for me okay the first lesson I learned is that basically you have to ignore completely ignore the people that honk at you because they, they seem to be everybody seems to be in a rush but they're actually smoking a cigarette while driving while driving so they're not in a rush they're just like Bothering you. Exit the roundabout on Street. There is no roundabout here, mate. I mean, this guy, you see, why would you do that? You are in the right lane to turn left. Go on the fucking left lane, mate. It's just random. So it's just like there are no rules. Just do whatever, do as you please, mate. That's the road, yeah. Fucking ass, the Wild West. Why are you smoking? next to a fuel tank my friend this part of the road has no lanes so it's just basically yeah guys make yourself com make yourselves comfortable on the road okay after you there are three highways in Jordan and they all go from north to south and vice versa we got the desert highway which is not the most scenic one because you basically drive through the desert which is amazing to see but how long does it take you to get bored of the desert not long trust me the second one is the king's highway which is possibly the most scenic in the country so i would recommend to stay on that one as long as possible and the third one is the jordan valley highway which goes along the dead sea and the border with israel i found that one actually quite beautiful and quite entertaining so if you got a chance i would recommend to try that one as well by the way to rent this car i rented it for four days and I paid 140 JD, Jordanian dinners. It should be around uh, 170, 180 uh, euros. What are these people doing here? Stopping at the side of the road, the motorway, to buy bananas. Okay, that's quite exotic to me. I don't want your bananas. I got my bananas. I have to say, it's been very easy, very smooth experience, didn't have, touch wood, any problems so far. A very good point about driving in Jordan is that there are not many cars on the road. There's only a couple of things that really get on my nerves. Okay, first of all, are bloody speed bumps on the road. Basically, I do see the purpose. I do understand they, they need to slow down some cars, especially in some areas, I get that. However, the point is that there are no road signs or anything indicating that there's going to be a speed bump at some point at some point so like you're i don't know driving at like i don't know 80 kilometers per hour and you just randomly find a speed bump and so basically you risk breaking your car every time you see one of those and it is quite annoying to be honest this is one of the speed bumps i'm standing here about by the way now the police stops you every now and then doing random checks on the road. When they see they are a tourist, they just let you go. They're like, okay, go, go. It just happened to me literally two minutes ago. And they were like, they saw my face. Clearly, I'm not Jordanian. And they were like, okay, go, go, go. They didn't even say anything. Another thing that unfortunately is quite sad and there's not much you can do, but there's quite a few, there are quite a few stray dogs and cats that, you know, at times just cross the road and you can see some road kills here and there do drive very slowly because you never know when that can happen so guys that's all i can say do come to jordan because it is actually one of the most amazing places i've ever seen in my entire life don't be afraid to drive around and uh well enjoy